Hi, I'm Billy Reimer, and I play drums for the Dillinger Escape Plan. So Tom had asked me to come down and check out this new line, this new drum they're putting out called the Silver Star. I came in here and uh, when I looked at the kit, I was actually surprised to find out that it was half the price of what I initially thought the kit would be. And uh, it's Albert shells. They sound very warm, very punchy. Um, for what I'm doing in Dillinger and for like techy, blasty metal stuff, it actually I can hear that it cuts. It's they're loud, they're powerful drums, and uh, I just had a great time playing them. We just recorded with it, it sounded great through the monitors and it looks awesome. I mean, you know, most of the times, it, even when you buy like a high-end kit, you take it out of the box, you know, you play it and you know, it sounds good. This kit, right out of the box, sounded great. For me, I always found uh, birch shells articulate maybe a little louder, maybe a little more powerful, especially on stage and I love how they translate in the studio. I guess maybe it's the way I hit, but I, I've just... I actually kind of preferred birch over maple, personally, and that's my personal taste. I love maple shells too, maybe for different styles, but my style, I, uh, I like to play heavy music, and, and in Dillinger, I thought it was necessary, currently I'm playing the birch Babinga kid, and I thought it was very necessary to, to get those tones. I chose those shells over the maple, and when I came in here and tried this, this the Tama Silver Star birch shells, I could clearly tell, like, yeah, I could absolutely play this on stage with my band. This punches, this feels exactly what I need, this is a very comfortable and familiar sound. The kick drum is super punchy, super quick, and just has like a great attack. And the heads on it, the stock heads on it sounded great. The toms had a very warm, round tone. The snare is super articulate, has a great tone. It was great for a dynamic range. And overall, it just sounded like a very well put together, complete drum set. I've been playing drums for probably, I could safely say 20 years now. My first kit was nothing near the quality of this, and I probably paid about the same that it's going for on the market now. It was a used kit, you know, it sounded terrible, but it got me, it got me to play drums, you know, and like, it, it's, it's wonderful now that kids can, can actually have something that they can learn on and actually feel, you know, feel proud of owning, feel like, you know, that it has value, that, that you know, they want to bring this on stage, they want to take this in the studio. It's, I mean, the bottom line is it's, it's a good drum set. It sounds good. You know, if it's a good drum set and you're a good drummer, no matter what style you play, you're going to make it sound good. So if you're a jazz drummer, you're going to make this sound good in jazz music. If you're a funk drummer, you're going to make this sound good in funk music. I play a number of different styles. My main thing is more towards, more towards the, the heavier side of things, and, you know, I like to play solid grooves and, and just mess around. I like reggae beats, I like funk beats, I like jazz, I like drum and bass stuff. Uh, I was just messing around this kit for a while, and I found that it could basically cover all grounds.